Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Rec Roll. Alright, today is the day where we are going to start our contest to pick the color that we're going to put in the guest bathroom. I've received enough suggestions now and I've got paint chips for most of them and uh, I've kind of picked out my favorites and we're going to go take a look at that. Now we're going get, to uh, get to that in a minute because I was just doing the chemicals in the pool and I discovered there's a problem with one of the sprinkler heads and since that's a simple little fix let's just tackle that one first and then we'll get on to the painting of the bathroom. So this is a sprinkler head I was talking about. Basically I noticed that the uh, the head itself had popped loose from the, the housing so I'm just going to put that back in there. That usually just screws in. It popped out for some reason. So we're going to take a look at that and we're going to fix that. So the first thing I have to do is I have to get into the housing and usually the, the top of the housing just unscrews from it and then you can totally get inside and get, get to the spring mechanism and all of this. And this is where the problem here, this is where it came loose. And so we're gonna take a look at this. I'm actually gonna move this inside and we're gonna try and repair this in the house just because it's really hot out here. Cause actually I'm looking at this now and it may have been broken. So we may have to actually replace this head, which isn't that big a deal. This is a $10 part at Home Depot. And so, you know, if we have to go to Home Depot, we can go to Home Depot. That's not the end of the world. So after closer examination, it appears that this thing is broken. I believe that this piece is supposed to be connected to this piece as one piece. And uh, I think what happens sometimes uh, when the head retracts back into the housing, if it, if it pulls too hard, it, it, you know, this won't go, this is a normal top and this usually, that's, that's what keeps this thing from going down. And if, if this thing retracts too quickly because of the pressure of this spring, it can sometimes snap the head off and I think that's what happened. So we know it's a, brain, a Rainbird head 1800 model. So I'm just going to bring this stuff over to Home Depot and I got to be able to just find a replacement for this. Nuts. I got to go to Home Depot again. All right. So I found the replacement heads. This is the uh, same Rainbird brand model uh, 1800 series. And I started realizing, oh, that's right. I'm about to figure out what the pattern is. It was kind of interesting because uh, when I looked into it, the actual pattern on this head is 360 degrees. In other words, water comes out in all directions. Now, it kind of seemed odd to me. You'd think you'd want a, a 180 degree one because it was right up against the swimming pool. You don't need to be spraying water on the pool. But I'm just gonna replace what they had. So it's gonna be one of these whopping four bucks. So yeah, simple thing to fix. All right, so I was just wandering around the electronics section and I realized I need a light switch like this because the one in the living room that controls the fan and the light on the fan, the light switch itself is starting to go bad. And sometimes when you flip it, it's intermittent or you get kind of an arcing sound in the switch. That's generally not a good thing. So this is the kind of switch I need, but unfortunately they don't have any. So we're gonna have to come back for this. So I was mentioning on the live stream today that the light bulbs that they have in some of the fixtures in the bathroom, I'm not really a fan of. They're LEDs, which are great, but they're just strange looking bulbs. So I've been thinking about replacing them with something like this. What do you think about these? I'm not sure what size we'd need, but those aren't filaments. Those are LEDs, so those are ultra efficient power wise. Be pretty cool and kind of funky too, huh? Yeah, so it's clear that this is the same piece. You pull off the cap off of this one, and this is clearly, uh, you know, it, it's obvious also that that's what happened too, is that this piece broke off. Because see, this is all one piece here, and it's two pieces on here. And I think what happened is, like I said, when the, uh, when the sprinkler, when the water turns back off, this thing snaps back shut, and I think it just hit it with such force, it just sheared the head off. So. This is really the only piece I need because I left this part here on the ground, in the ground. So since it's the same part, I am just gonna uh, replace this using the housing that's already in the ground and that'll work just fine. So all I gotta do is screw that thing back in there and we're in back in business. All right, let's go pick some paint colors for the bathroom. Oh, I bet your jaw would have fun chasing you. Yep, I think he would. Okay, so these are our five finalists for uh, paint colors. Um, actually, it's going to be six finalists when you really look to it because we're only going to use two colors. Now, 
Uh, one, one, one person sent me this uh, idea here, which had six different colors. I basically took it upon myself to pick the two that I like. And it's going to be this color and this color are going to be the option. This one's going to be a little weird because the white is going to be the uh, color. And one of the options is going to be that this color and this color. And the other option is going to be this color and this color. And so we'll figure that out when we do that. Option number four is going to be this one, this one here. And then this is kind of a funny situation. Uh, the paint store didn't have a paint chip for this color. So they gave me a little half pint sampler size of this. So I basically just painted it on a sheet of white paper and we're going to hold that in there. We're going to look at that that way. So these are going to be our six options. So let's go into the bathroom and look at all of them and see what we think. All right, so once again, this is our palette. Um, I've removed everything in here, the towels, the artwork. Uh, I've kind of hidden the shower curtain there. Anything that isn't relevant to the color selection process. Basically, what I'm looking for is matching with the uh, stonework in the shower or in the bathtub, the flooring, and this counter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold each paint chip up uh, next to each item and let you see what you look like and what they look like and if you like it uh, pick the option what I'm gonna do is uh, when I'm showing you a card I'm going to put option number one or option number two or whatever it is on the screen so that you know when you go in and do the polling uh, which one to choose so we'll cover how to do that in a minute but here's a uh, this is gonna be option number one this is the one where I chose two uh, two of the six colors in the in the um, uh, on the strip that came and I chose the two I liked and I just basically folded it so those two are visible so the light color is going to be on the wall always in every single case and the dark wall the dark color is going to be the trim it's going to be the baseboards and it's going to be the crown molding above so if there's two colors that's what it is the light color is always going to be on the wall the dark color is going to be on the trim so there's the uh, color this is option number one that's what it kind of looks like on the floor, you know, compared to the floor. So uh, once again, consider this color being here. And then the final thing is we want to look at it and compare it to the sink, to the countertop of the sink. And that's, that's what that looks like. So uh, this is option number one. If you like option number one, uh, vote for option number one when I tell you how to do that at the end. All right, so this is option number two. And so that's uh, what that paint chip looks like. This is what they call the dark color is called Jasper Crane and the light color is called Swiss Coffee. And so that's what that looks like against the stone. That's what this looks like against the floor. And what this looks like against the, uh, the sink here. So this is option number two. If you like this one, uh, then you're gonna select option number two. Now option number three is actually the same base color as option number two, but we're replacing the accent color with this darker color. So once again, it's going to be the Swiss coffee on the, uh, on the, uh, on the wall and the creme de, la, de carnival at, uh, on the, as the accent. So this is going to be option number three and that's it against the, uh, the stonework here. Option number three against the floor. And option number three compared to the countertop. All right, so if you like that one, select option number three. All right, so this is option number four. This is called, uh, the light color is called warm marshmallow and the dark color is called fresh croissant. And so that's option, that's almost, that almost looks like that's the color that's already on the walls, doesn't it? You almost can't tell the difference between that paint chip and uh, what's on the wall already. That's what it looks like against the floor and on the sink. So this is option number four. If you like this one, that's what you're going to choose is option number four. All right, this is option number five. It's called uh, cream fraiche or however you pronounce that. I'm sorry, my French isn't really that good for the light color and burnt almond for the dark color. That's kind of a nice accent. That, that yellow almost matches the wall too, doesn't it? Not quite as close as that other one, but that's what it looks like against the uh, stonework in the bathtub. Here's what we look like against the floor. 
and against the counter. So that's option number five. If you like that one, check, uh, select option five. All right, so this is option number six. This is the one uh, that I had to actually make my own paint chip. And this one is a single color. So this is gonna be the color of the wall and then the baseboards and crown molding will be white along with the ceiling. So that's what that looks like uh, against the, uh, the t uh, tile work in the tub. What this looks like against the floor. By the way, this is called Skinny Latte, if you're interested. And what it looks like against the countertop in the sink. So this is option number six, the final option. So if you like this one, select option number six. All right, so here's how we're gonna do this. Um, if you go to my homepage on my channel and click on the Communities tab, you know, usually you'd click on the Videos tab to see the latest videos. If you click on the Communities tab, uh, the same moment that this video goes live, I am going to post a poll in there and you'll be able to choose op option number one, two, three, four, five, or six. You can only vote once and uh, the poll will remain active for a full week. So it's going to go up uh, tonight, Sunday night on the, I believe today is the 16th and it will remain up until... Uh, my video goes up on Sunday on the 23rd. So you'll have a full week to look at this to make up your decision and uh, Select your your favorite and uh, after and next week what we're gonna do is we'll reveal who the winner is and Then uh, sometime next week. We're gonna paint this room that color. So like I said uh, Remember which uh, option one through six that you're interested in which one you think would look best in this bathroom uh, and go and vote and you have a week to do that and uh, we'll go from there. So I think that's all I have to, for tonight. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.